guys, the moment is finally here. I feel like I've been building up to this point for the last three and a bit years since I've had my channel. I am finally doing a Sephora haul and I have the big bag. I have the really big bag. I have the bag that you fit a small person in size bag. I, I can't believe that I'm finally doing this, but as a lot of you may know, but if you're new to my channel, you may not. I recently went to America. I spent about 12 days in LA and various parts of LA and I had an awesome trip and one major part of that trip was doing some shopping and then within that shopping portion, one major part of that trip was to do some makeup shopping and I finally visited Sephora for the first time ever and I've got to say it was a fantastic experience which will be highlighted by the haulage that I'm about to show you guys. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start off with some Hourglass products because that's the first thing I can see here. The first thing that I picked up, the one that was at the top of my list, was the Hourglass Arch. This is the Brow Sculpting Pencil and I got the shade Soft Brunette. That's the packaging. This is what the product itself looks like. So at one end it has a little spoolie and at the other end we have the actual product. This is quite different to a lot of the other brow products that I got in that it is quite large and it's kind of angular but it is great for like doing just like your brow in one kind of swipe it is really really like the fastest brow pencil kind of product that I have ever used and so far I'm really quite liking it I probably could have got the darker shade the, the, I think it was called maybe brunette um, but they didn't have that so in the end I just decided to get the soft brunette and it's actually quite nice when I'm going for sort of a lighter brow look also from Hourglass, I picked up another one of their High Shine Extreme Sheen uh, lip glosses. I also grabbed one of their Femme Rouge lipsticks. And both I got in the shade Icon, which is the red color. I guess it's just their standard red. It's a really, really pretty blue-based red color. I absolutely love it. It's like the gorgeous sort of old Hollywood style lip. And the lipstick is, of course, in that same shade. Really, really pretty paired together or on their own. The lip gloss is really, really pigmented, so you don't even need another product underneath it, and you get really nice color payoff. Next, because eyebrow products are definitely one of my favorite things, of course, I had to stop by the Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills stand. Picked up a couple of things. One of them was the clear brow gel. I love this just because it's like a nice clear brow gel. It goes on really easily, and it's not too wet. I don't feel like it's really gloopy on my eyebrows. I, of course, also had to pick up the well-known Brow Wiz, which is the Skinny Brow Pencil. It looks like this has a spoolie at one end and then has the actual pencil, which is retractable at the other end. Really, really little and skinny. I got the shade Brunette, which I think used to be called Dark Brown, or maybe it is called Dark Brown and that used to be called Brunette. But either way, I really, really um, am looking forward to trying this. haven't had a chance to play around with it yet, but I've heard very, very good things. I also picked up the Brow Powder Duo. This one I got in the shade Medium Brown. And to go with that, I grabbed the number 7 double-ended brush, which has a spoolie down one end and then a little angled brush at the top there. The powder itself, I really love the packaging of these. They look very pretty. And it just has the two shades there, really nice ashy shades, and then the mirror at the top. I would have really loved to get the Dip Brow Pomade, but that was sold out everywhere. Clearly that, that product is going off because I went into multiple Sephoras and I never saw it once. They were all sold out, all the colors, which is just crazy. But maybe next time. Next, I grabbed one thing from Becca. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector SPF 25, and I got the shade Opal. I have wanted to try one of the Shimmering Skin Perfectors for a very long time and this was my first kind of opportunity to grab them. I do think that you can get, there are Becca stands at certain David Jones here in Australia if you haven't had a chance to try Becca and you'd like to. This is just a really pretty kind of um, like liquid illuminator. I think you could probably use this under your makeup. You could probably use it mixed in with your foundation as well. This one's like a pretty pinky peach colour. Just really, really gorgeous. I think like you could probably use this on your body too, like on your um, collarbones and things as well if you're going out and want to be extra shimmery. But it's just a gorgeous finish and I can see myself probably using that either on top or underneath foundation just to give myself a little bit of an extra glow when I need it. From Benefit, I grabbed a couple of things. One of them was going to be the Lolly Tint and I completely forgot. I don't know what happened there. But I did pick up the Hello Flawless 
powder and also the Hello Flawless or the Oxygen Wow foundation. So the powder I got in the shade Never Settle Petal. Looks like this. This is the second lighter shade and in the powder it doesn't seem too bad for me but I'll talk a bit more about the foundation in a sec. It does come with a little brush and a little powder puff as well and a full size mirror. So I've had a chance to use this probably once. I can't really talk much about it. It seems to be a fairly decent match for my skin. Maybe a little bit dark which is interesting given that it is the second lighter shade but we'll see how that goes. I also got the, like I said, Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Oil Free Foundation. It's Brightening Sunscreen Makeup and this is in I'm Plush and Precious Petal again. So again, second lighter shade, but I found this to be, I don't know, like I mean I tested it in the store, but when I got it home it seems to be quite dark and quite yellow. Does anybody else have any, maybe I needed to get the lighter shade, but I mean I'm not the most pale person in the world and it still seems to be, I don't know, very, very yellow when I apply it. Just apply it a little bit more now. But overall the actual foundation itself seemed to wear really nicely and feel quite nice. So I'm going to play around a little bit with the colour. Maybe I did get the wrong colour match, but I'm looking forward to, to testing that one out because it does seem to, a lot of people who use it seem to really, really like it. The last thing that I got from Benefit was a couple of sample sizes of the Big Easy or Bigger Than BB Liquid to Powder Oil Free BB Cream. This is in the shade 03 Light Medium and I used two um, 100 point perks for these. I can say that I did become a Sephora VIB Rouge member from my shopping trip so you can kind of guess how much I approximately how much I spent there but I mean I'd been saving up specifically for it and because I became a VIB Rouge member I did get a couple of free gifts so the first one was one of their specific it's their special VIB Rouge Formula X nail polish this is great because I really wanted to try one of the Formula X nail polishes and then didn't get around to actually purchasing any so this is like a really nice bright red color it also, since it was my birthday in April, um, I got the VIB Rouge April sort of um, happy birthday present in it, which is from Makeup Forever, and it's actually really quite cool. In this, I have a little sort of a deluxe travel size of the Smoky Extravagant Mascara. This is a massive wand, but never tried any of the Makeup Forever Mascara, so I'm looking forward to trying that. I also got a small little lipstick here. From Makeup Forever again and as well as a little Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes pencil isn't this just adorable I love minis and this is perfect it's like the perfect handbag size the perfect travel size so that was a really cool little gift to get and then since we're on the topic I'm just gonna stay stay with this you also get like a little VIB Rouge little welcome kit which comes with your VIB Rouge card and a little deluxe sample size Bite Lipstick, Bite Beauty. And this is the special, it says Bite for VIB Rouge. So it's a special red color specifically for that. I was really, really excited to get that because I haven't tried a lot of Bite Beauty products before, but this seems to be sort of all the rage at the moment when it comes to lipsticks. And then on top of that, I also got a whole heap of samples here of a couple of different products. These are the, is it the Boschia or Boy, Boscia? Boy, I don't know. But the Black, Detoxifying Black Cleanser. So I got four little samples of those. And then I also got the Amore Pacific Future Response Age Defense Dual Eye Cream. And I got another six little sachets of that. And then some, let's see since we're on here some perfume samples lots of different perfume samples so lots of freebie goodies that came with my little trip to Sephora but since we were on the topic of Bite Beauty I did actually grab one of the Bite Beauty lipsticks this is in the shade Zin or no yes yeah, Zin it's either Zin or Niz it's Zin <laughs> that's a really hard one because you can actually read it both ways this is definitely a Rachel color and after testing it out, it's really, really cream, really smooth. I definitely want to jump on the Bite Beauty bandwagon and maybe pick up a few more of these lipsticks because they seem really, really nice. 
From Kat Von D, I managed to pick up the Locket Tattoo Concealer. I got the shade Light 18, which I think was the second lightest shade there. I'm really happy with the color match for this one. It seems to be my perfect match. I love the packaging of this. It's just a tube. It means that it can't get contaminated with wands or it's not a pump that pumps out too much. You have full control on how much you get out of this tube. You do get a ton of product too. How big is this? It is 17 mils, so this will last you a decent amount of time and it seems to give really good coverage. I've used it for spot concealing and I also tested it out a little bit under my eyes. I need to play around with it a bit more, but so far I'm really, really enjoying that. Also another concealer, one that's been mentioned quite a bit on YouTube, but not a lot recently, and that it's supposedly the world's best concealer on the back. It is from Amazing Cosmetics, and it's their Amazing Concealer. I got the shade Fair, which I did swatch, but now that I got it home, it seems really, really light. But again, a nice little squeezy tube. This one has a lot less product at 6 mils. This one seems a little bit more tacky and sticky, whereas this one seems a little bit more creamy, but... Again, I'm going to play around with them. I love concealer. It's one of my favorite products and I have so many of them. So I'm looking forward to testing those out and seeing how they compare. I did pick up one product from Smashbox. This was kind of a, a add-on at the end, but I've seen, I think it was Shannon. Shannon So she had used this recently. It's the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. And she seemed to really, really like it, so I decided to pick it up. I got the shade 1.2. I was tossing up between 1.2 and 2.1, but in the end, they didn't have 2.1, so my decision was made for me. And this one seems to suit my skin, the uh, 1.2. I think this would definitely be like my winter shade, but I used it once, and so far, I really like it. I like the pump. It seemed to sort of go on my skin really nicely and give me good coverage. So, buxom. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think it's Buxom. Is another brand that we don't have access to in Australia, but I had to get at least one of their lip glosses. I got the full bodied lip gloss, and this is in the shade Va Va Voom, which is like a pretty name. Kind of matches my shirt actually. This is a really pretty, again, very red shade. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. Let's just let's just put some on. Ooh, pretty. I really, really like this shade. It actually seems very Christmassy to me. I don't know if it, it it's supposed to be plumping. It says intense hydration, ultra brilliance. Um, I, I think it is supposed to be plumping. I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't really feel plumping or tingly, but um, I haven't had a chance to wear it on its own, so we'll see. I managed to pick up a few products from Urban Decay and obviously the one product that I went in there for was the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And I went into Sephora, I think, three different Sephoras, three different times, all of them were completely out of stock. And on my very last day in Santa Monica, I decided to duck back into the Sephora there just on the off chance they happened to get a Naked 3 palette in and lo and behold one Naked 3 palette was sitting in there. Now, I think this was actually a return. I checked it before I, I bought it because I thought it was interesting there was one there. It hadn't been touched. All the stuff was there. The only thing was I noticed it didn't have the samples of the primer potions in it. So I knew that someone had opened it, but honestly, in the end, I didn't care about the samples. I was just really happy to find it, so I decided to grab it. And here it is, the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I haven't had a chance to play with it because I kind of want to play with it on camera and maybe like a first impressions get ready with me video. But there it is in all its gorgeousness right there. And it was just a twist of fate that I managed to get my hands on it. Okay, so also from Urban Decay, I got one of the new Urban Decay Naked Lip Glosses. I got the shade Besso, which I believe is the darker shade of the bunch. It's really nice, purpley... Um, sort of dusty purpley pink shade again really really pretty they smell quite nice too kind of minty I also got two of the revolution lipsticks one in rush and one in catfight so catfight is a really nice bright kind of berry pink borderline red shade and then Rush is more of a neutral shade, one of those kind of dusty pink, slightly purple toned shades. Really, really like these ones. 
And then I also grabbed one of the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On pencils. This one I got in the shade Corrupt, which is a really lovely brown color. These go on so nicely. I have never actually purchased like one of these pencils kind of outright before, but I just, I really love them. I would have loved to have grabbed a whole heap of them, but oh, I had to try and control myself. I really did. I also grabbed the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. I have never tried this before, but I don't even know if I've grabbed it in Sephora. I can't remember where I picked it up, but I picked it up while I was over there, and I'm really excited to try this because this is one of these cult products that every person and their mum has tried, but I have it. So while I was there, of course, I had to pick up a few Marc Jacobs products to try, purely because we don't have access to them here, and I am definitely a curious person. So the first thing that I have here is the Marc Jacobs Style Icon Number no. 7 Eyeshadow Palette, and it is in the Lolita shade, so it has really pretty packaging. comes with a little uh, pouch here with Marc Jacobs, and I love the fact that it's not suede, so it doesn't give me the heebie-jeebies when I touch it, not suede or velvet, like that... It just, those materials, while luxurious, give me the goosebumps. I've had mixed reviews on this. People who love it, love it, and then the people who think that it's overpriced don't really like it, but I had to try it for myself in the end. It has got some really, really gorgeous neutral shades. The mirror, it's just stunning packaging, and in the end, I just, I couldn't resist. It's just so sleek and pretty, and oh, I can't wait to try that one out. I also picked up the Perfection Powder, their Featherweight Foundation. Again, I thought this one was a uh, more of like a setting powder, not realizing it was a foundation. I did the same thing with one of my um, drugstore purchases, but anyway, I'm happy to give it a go. This is the pouch that comes in. It has a little sort of powder puff thing in the front there, and then we have the actual powder itself. It's quite a large um, package, and again, very, very sleek. We open it up, you have a full size mirror and then there is the powder. I got the shade number 240 Bisque. It seems like the right shade for me. I have only used it once and I haven't tried to use it without a foundation underneath. So, so I'm going to have to definitely play around with it a bit more. But it is a really, really lovely feeling powder. And then the last thing from Marc Jacobs I grabbed was the Lust for Lacquer Lip Vinyl. And in this one I got the shade 302 Kissability. Again, it has a really sleek black and silver packaging and I just got a really nice kind of mid-tone pink shade, slightly blue base and it has gold reflex in it. It has quite a nice smell and just like a little doe foot applicator. Okay and then last but by no means least I have some Tarte products to share with you guys. The first one is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush foundation. I got this in the shade light medium beige which may be a little bit dark for my skin. It seems to blend in quite well. It's probably more my summer shade but can I tell you guys I am in love with this product. I didn't buy the brush. I just I don't know I didn't think about it at the time so I've just been using it with a little Royal and Langnickel Kabuki brush but can I tell you it just gives you the loveliest coverage and it blends into your skin really well and it looks really I mean I'm wearing it on my face today and it looks really natural and I, I managed to still put a little bit of concealer over the top of it it doesn't go cakey I mean I haven't used it that many times but my initial uh, reaction is that this is a really really great product and I'm not usually into mineral foundations so I'm really really happy that I picked that one up I also grabbed the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Bronzer. I've had a little sample size of this before, so I was really excited to get the full size of it. It's just a really nice bronzer. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not completely matte, but it's just a lovely color, great for warming up the skin. I also picked up one of or the Tarte Universal Amazonian Clay Universal Lip Liner. That's the packaging. This is what the lip liner itself looks like. Again, with that Amazonian clay, it's just a really nice neutral pink color. It's a little bit lighter than my lips, and it seems to go on quite well. It actually has a little bit of like a... looks like almost like it has a bit of a sparkle in it as well. And then I also grabbed the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara, because a lot of people talk about this. Some people, it's their absolute favorite kind of holy grail mascara. So I wanted to give it a try. It has very interesting packaging. I used it once 
for the first time and I quite liked it. It has a really nice brush. I seem to be able to get close. I found that it gave me volume and separation, not so much length, but I want to keep on playing around with it a bit more. But my initial impression was that it seemed to be like quite a nice mascara. And of course, I couldn't leave the Tarte stand without picking up a few of their blushes. So the first one that I got here is this shade which is exposed. It's a really nice kind of neutral shade, light, like natural colour, slightly like a dusty pink. I also picked up True Love which is a really nice light kind of mid-toned pink colour. Along with that I also got Dollface, this is the one the name kind of was familiar to me. It's a really nice light blue based pink. And then I also grabbed Captivating, which I think was a new colour because it was in the newer packaging. And this is a really nice light peach shade, which I don't have a lot of peach toned blushes, so I thought I'd grab that one. And then lastly, I managed to pick up one of the new products. This is the Air Blush, and I got the shade Shimmering Peach. There were three different shades, and it's like a cream blush. It seems to be a cream to powder finish. It's a really interesting texture. It feels almost slightly squishy really really soft when you blend it out it blends to kind of almost like a powder like finish it feels really lightweight very very pretty I'm really looking forward to playing around with that one so that is it I think I'm just looking around to make sure I have not forgotten anything I think that is everything that I picked up from Sephora this has been a mammoth haul but if you stuck around to the end I appreciate it I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the fun things that I picked up while at Sephora if you have any questions at all about any of the products please let me know in the comments and I'll try and answer them I'll try and do some videos on them I have put together a Lovocracy collection so you guys can shop this collection see what it's all like see the prices and things like that so I'll have that linked in the bottom bar below along with links to all my other America hauls that I have that will be going up or have already gone up there'll be a playlist and of course if you don't want to miss any of my videos don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you get updated when I post new ones and you can come say hi to me on any of my social media as well I'd really like to see you all the links to those are in the description box as well and other than that I'm gonna go I need to stop talking now I'm, I'm about to lose my voice I hope you guys are all having a really great day and I will see you guys all in my next video bye so much makeup! It really is a lot of makeup. It's a lot of makeup. <laughs>